Hello friends, welcome back. So in the last lecture, we understood how we can post the entries or how we can bifurcate the expenses manually by calculating it by our hand. So now in this lecture, I'll be letting you know how you can make the entries with predefined cost classes. So predefined, generally we use predefined cost classes only because every time it's not possible to calculate the expenses or bifurcate the expenses as per the sectors manually. So for that, what you need to do is basically go to alter or uh, create and select here show more options under the list of masters here you can see one more option get activated that is your cost center class select here cost center class i'm giving here the class one class one and here i am taking it as rohini sector a the the expenses will get bifurcated in the ratio of 40 sector b 40% and sector C to 20%. So in this ratio, 2 is to 2 is to 1, my all the expenses will get divided under class 1. And I can create more than one classes as well. I can create here class 2 also, where I am giving sector A 35%, again sector B 35%, and sector C to the remaining 30%. So this is how you can make the cost center classes and accept it. Now, when you post the entries, post your expenses, like I am crediting here cement traders with the amount 50,000. The expense was 50,000. This is a new reference. Taking here construction material expenses. And here, what you can do is you can select the class by here. So how you can select the class, just click on F12 and here select cost center class to yes. When you configure this and accept the screen, this will ask you cost center class on the top of your voucher. So I'm going back to that. And when I'll go back, this will tell me how many cost center classes I have already prepared. So you can select from here the cost center class. Let's say I'm selecting your class one. So it will bifurcate in the ratio that I had divided or specified in the class one. So I'm entering it and accepting my screen. So now how we can see that the class that we had defined or the percentage that we had defined is actually bifurcated among the respective branches. So simply go to your display more reports. Now go here to statement of accounts. Under statement of accounts, go to cost centers. And here you can see cost center breakup. Sector A, Rohini, I am taking the screen and you can see 30,000, 10,000 and 20,000 has been bifurcated by its own. Here we have selected class one. That's why 20,000 has been already bifurcated in sector A, 20,000 in sector B and 10,000 in sector C. So this is the simple way where you can select or make the cost center classes as per your choice and you can do the entries. I hope you understood the cost center classes. So, we'll continue with new topic in the next lecture.